Alright, hello everyone, my name is Shep, welcome back to the Butcher Circus, and today we are going to be playing with a team made by Mr. D. So I'm not sure if you remember Mr. D, I really hope you do, because he's a very, he's a very cool chap, and he made this team, he played against me, he absolutely kicked my ass, <laughs> and even though I recorded the matches, I didn't do any commentary on them, and I thought, okay, you know what, he kicked my ass so thoroughly, I might as well feature his team. Uh, in a bit more of, not a positive light, but at least uh, in some more exciting matches because it was kind of a counter matchup. And why is it a counter matchup? Well, this team has a Plague Doctor, which usually isn't very good because she gets pulled and she gets disrupted, but the team I had didn't have any sort of pulls, so in that sort of situation you're gonna have a really fun time. So yeah, the Plague Doctor was suffering, uh, was not suffering massively, I was the one suffering because of all the plague grenade shenanigans that went down. So this team has a flagellant with the Reign of Sorrows and the Crushed Hemlock, so it has a lot of DOT onto onto that back line as well as, as the plague grenade, so I'm gonna start off with that, get a miss on it, because why not. And yeah, round one we decided to go for a command buff because we got to go first and my opponent had a... Um, an extra 15 dodge, so you really want to drop the command up if you do want to hit. And now we're gonna get stunned, but it's not him of the world because it doesn't actually work, so we can just go ahead and drop our of Sorrows. This time we do hit. So it's a very aggressive team, it's got a lot of DOT output, it's got a lot of stress output, especially with uh, Grave Robber's Panic Tarts, with, uh, with Play Grenade, with the Flagellant Train of Stars, and it's got a very defensive mana arms with double stun resistance. So against, like, damage teams, it's gonna be weird because you don't have regen. You don't really have a lot of healing. I mean, you have the the, uh, the Blink Doctor's heal for three, and that's about it. Apart from the flashlight, uh, if he does get uh, if he does get pushed down to to low HP, this is a very interesting setup that Father Nicholas has here, by the way. Gesture with Gladiator Helmet, quite an interesting thing. Well, we're gonna try punishing it with yet another play grenade, and the trinkets on the Blink Doctor are quite interesting too. There's a volatile concoction and the rotting trophy. Mister D told me that the reason for that was because of abomination so if you want to deal with that 60 percent blight resistance because you're just going to go play grenade anyway you just bring the extra blight chance and things will be more than okay for you because you can still have a 90 percent chance of blighting the a-bomb which has a lot of blight resistance so one thing that's not okay for me is how much damage this mana arms has taken it is not looking fancy here i might be dropping a bolster but honestly a battle loud will just counter it immediately so instead i'm gonna drop a bellow here to make sure that stunning blow doesn't delay damage because it could with a very nice roll even against a 10 prot but now it can't anymore really move back <laughs> it's gonna be a move back into a finale that's wild that's actually wild i think that's unnecessary I think that's unnecessary, but, uh, you know, it is what my opponent goes for here. Well, in that case, let's just drop a Reign of Sorrows. If they want to drop the finale, I'm going to drop a Panic Darts on them and get them afflicted immediately. So, I'll, I'll very much take that, no worries. Yeah, it's such an interesting team that Father Nicholas has here, I must, uh, I must say. We still have the same background, we still have the same name, I should change that out sometime. Yeah, this is definitely quite an interesting team. They're gonna go for it, they do enough damage, but yeah, here comes the panic darts. <laughs> it's gonna do so much. Wow, you're already dropping to this door, by the way. Jesus, that's wild. Yeah, 78 stress, that's an affliction for sure. And BAM! <laughs> Jester goes afflicted, the cultist is dropping to 0 HP, so my opponent's now backline isn't feeling too good. He also goes masochistic and he has finisher, so that's fun. 22 DOT, Jesus. Yeah, the backline destruction on this team is wild, absolutely wild. Though you can attack the front line. Wait, was there no Noxious Blast? Oh, there was. I made a mistake. No, Mr. D just told me because uh, we played the matches like quite a while ago, so I asked him to tell me well, like what he was playing again. And he said, Blast. And I thought, the first thought I had about Blast was, oh, Disorienting Blast, but no, it must have been Noxious Blast, so you can actually hit the frontline. So you do have frontline pressure with Noxious Blast and uh, the Panic Darts, but <laughs> I, brought, I brought Disorienting. I don't know why I brought Disorienting. Okay, you're almost jumping to this door, but not quite, so let's just go ahead and fix that with, uh, with a little play grenade. It's quite good, this play grenade. If you just let it stack like twice, your, the enemy backline just dies. So it's definitely a very strong ability. So even if they try disrupting the flashlight or something, even if they can do it, the Plague Doctor is just going to destroy everything uh, when it comes to those backlines. So here we're getting stunned. We don't really care too much. We're just going to drop a Panic Darts onto the... I could drop it on the Jester here. It would probably kill him. Hmm. That would make this dodge useful. 
Yeah, in Hot Wheels too. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. Another Panic Darts and bye bye is Chester, you know. And extra stress. Yep, extra stress. All right, that's another affliction on the on the occultist, and he also goes masochistic. Father Nichols just says, "Hmm," <laughs> because of that very nasty crit right there. Yeah, if you have a chance to just remove the battle belt and you have a dodge character, then I guess you should take it, even though it was kind of a waste slightly wasteful i still think it's okay it's not going to be too okay because i don't have noxious blast to kill this crusader so it would be very nice if i still had noxious blast but since i don't um, you know, i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to make some decisions that's a bit of stress that doesn't really matter too much they're probably gonna pull my grave robber here i imagine or heal themselves but you know they're just slowly dying that way I don't know what they're gonna do, they're just gonna heal themselves. Okay, I definitely don't want to use my flagellant action here because I can get brought uh, straight to zero. I do not want that to happen. So I'm just gonna go ahead, click, and probably drop a panic tarts there. How much are you taking? That's still enough. Wish I could hit you, but let's drop a panic tarts now onto the crusader. And yeah, that's a bit of DOD, he's taking a bit of damage. Of course he can go virtuous, but if he goes out to zero HP, the virtue will matter, but it won't be uh, it won't be that game changing. That's a 15% virtue chance, sir. Yeah, it's not uh, not too likely. <laughs> not too likely whatsoever. Well, I think I'm gonna play grenade here. Or do I? Or do I play grenade? Or do I go for a punish instead? Uh, I could go for Rain of Sorrows too. Ugh, no. Let's go for a punish here on the Crusader. Maybe get some blights, maybe get some bleeds. We only get the blights, but you know, that's still that's still hurting him a little bit. Would have been better here to just like drop Noxious Blast, and if they hit me, I can self heal with this. But yeah, for some reason, I thought the Sorrenting Blast was a play. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. My brain was not too focused at that point, I imagine. Now let's go ahead and drop a heal here. That, that was just a free heal for all my other characters, which, you know, basically only the Grave Hover benefited from that, but that's fine. And the Flagellant's now on HP. He doesn't have any accuracy buffs because the Mana Arms is gone, so that's uh, kind of a problem here. That is definitely a problem. Mana Arms got focused down too quickly, so now I don't have any sort of accuracy buffs for the Exsanguinates, but. I probably want to use them when I'm the last character alive. I think that's what I'm going to be going for here. Well, Cultist, what are you going to do? Heal yourself for 17 again. And my opponent has been getting quite lucky with those heals, I must say. It hasn't been enough, but no, they're going to go for the Demon Spool. That's going to get rid of the corpse. I suppose in that case I just drop a Shadow Fade here. Hmm, or do I drop a Play Grenade first? If I drop a play grenade, I'm gonna get stunned, but it could miss. It could miss, so let's do it. Let's go for the play grenade. 25 going once. No 25, sadly. Yeah, if they do try dropping a stun here, on if they try dropping it on the flash one, it could very well fail. If it doesn't, I'm screwed. But <laughs> if it if it doesn't fail, I'm kind of screwed here. Come on. Oh it doesn't. Yeah, it no, it it fails. Yeah, the stun fails, thankfully. It would have showed stun here right now if it hadn't failed. And uh, Father Nichols was not too happy about that, I can see. Ooh, 85. Yeah, nah, 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 nah. Ah, 85. 15% chance to lose the match. Hmm. That or redeem for 2 HP? What do you want to do, Shep? I'm gonna redeem for 2 HP. <laughs> I'm not gonna miss the 85 right now. I do not have to go aggressive here. I just have to heal my flashlight and keep him alive. Seriously, going aggressive here would be very unnecessary, very, very bad idea in my opinion. For fool, all are my puppets. That's a very cool act out of cultist. Yeah, he has some interesting, uh, some interesting barks when he's afflicted. Foe or, foe or fool, all are my puppets. I like that one. Oh, he's gonna go for the self heal now. He gets a crit on it, which definitely helps him. He gets a crit, but no bleed. Wow, that's that's fortunate. And I could go ahead and drop a pick here, but it's gonna be panic darts into it's gonna be shadow fade into panic darts time to try and kill that occultist. My plague doctor wish she had noxious blast right now. Yeah, I wish I had noxious blast. But <laughs> Why? Why did I bring the Saiyan thing? You have two white trinkets, Chef. This is this is what happens when you don't think. This is what happens when you just uh, when you just read and like blast. Oh, okay, blast. Yeah, sure. 
That's that's literally what went down in my brain. Okay, I'm gonna go for this. I get a max roll on it, which is very good for the stress, but sadly no crit. The crit there would have been the kill. That would have been amazing, but maybe Masochistic goes for a pass or something, and then Blast will get the kill here, because it can hit that position 3, unlike uh, the Noxious one. So that will be something I'll go for if my opponent gives me the chance, though they probably won't. They're probably gonna click, go for self-heal, try to stay alive somehow, but I can still drop a Reign of Sorrows later. They're still gonna take a lot of DOT, so... It is rough. It is rough for my opponent here. My biggest problem is gonna have to be the Sacred Blade. If it gets a Virtue, I... I'm kind of screwed, let's be honest. Uh, they're giving me a kill. Hmm... They're giving me a kill. I mean, sure, I'll take it. Sure, no worries. Let's take that kill. That also means no lunge for them, which is pretty good, because the knockback. But, you know, they still have pick to the face. It's still gonna one-shot me, I imagine, with, uh, with the cloak and dagger. And they go for the stun here. Did they get it? They should. Yeah, okay, they finally get it. I think that's the first stun they've gotten on me with that sacred blade, and it's a 65, so... Uh, getting too many of those stun resistances is, uh, doesn't give you too much of a good idea of what this team should feel like, because the flash one just has this normal stun res. Actually doesn't one-shot me, that could make the difference here. That could most definitely make the difference. Well, in that case, I'm gonna go ahead and drop a pick. A pick would probably drop him to their store, while a panic darts wouldn't. So a panic darts would definitely hurt him more with the stress, but I want him in this store right now, so I can potentially get the kill here. Even though panic darts would have been really smart, I feel like pick at this point is smarter. Crit heal for 16, very unnecessary, my favorite, and I'm actually gonna go for the incision now because it deals more damage than the punish. So I'm gonna go for the incision. You saw there it did 5 to 9. It's gonna do more damage than the punish. The punish deals like. Okay, now. The Punish won't show how much damage it's gonna deal, but yeah, it deals 4 to 9 on the Grave Robber, which has 0 prot, and it deals, it would deal like 3 to 8 against the Crusader, so going for the, like, Doctor Action there was definitely the play. I don't think he's gonna go Virtuous. Yeah, he goes, oh, Masochistic, that's sad. <laughs> that is really sad. If he had gone, like, Vigorous there into Stun Crit on the Plague Doctor, into Pick to the Face Death Blow, and then these two duke it out into, oh, like, the final one and the crusade duke it out and uh, both oof themselves at the end, then it's a fight between the grave robbers. That would have been pretty fun. But yeah, I don't think that's gonna be uh, how the cookie crumbles here. I'm gonna go for another incision, because it's the most likely to bring him down to zero, and then it's just gonna be punish into panic darts. Punish first, because I would prefer the panic darts going into the grave robber if I have the chance. Always give yourself the best chance of victory, even if it looks like the match is already won. It definitely isn't. The match is never won with, when afflictions are, are in play. So let's drop this, and then we're gonna drop the panic darts to confirm that kill. Could drop the yeah no no reason dropping pick to the face now. I don't have the I don't have the cloak and dagger like my opponent does. And yeah, the Crusader actually stays alive, despite uh, despite all the punishment that I've dished out to him. He is actually still alive, still chilling. Hmm. Well, maybe Masochistic solved my problems for me. Maybe. Come on, Masochistic. You have three Masochistic characters. One of them's gotta do it. <laughs> Self-mark. Yeah. He did it. He did it with the self-mark. Well, they're gonna go for that. Oh, and they fail. Well, the play now is obvious. You go for the redeem here. There's nothing else you do. Yeah, you, you could go for the kill and then lose your Plague Doctor. That's silly. You just go for the heal right there if you have the chance. And uh, you confirm yourself a victory. Because now, even if the even if she gets a crit with that pick to the face... No, if she did get a crit, it would do 18. But she would need to get uh, quite fortunate for something like that. Come on, can I please get a kill on this Crusader? <laughs> Seriously. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to go to the heart attack. I could give him the achievement, but I'm pretty sure Father Nicholas has it already, so let's just do this. And yeah, he's gone. You're only gonna have picked to the face and in the front line, because I'm definitely gonna clear that corpse, or you know, it's just gonna get cleared by itself. And my opponent does not have a winning chance anymore, as sad as that is. The Plague Doctor st stands true. So let's skip on to the end. Yeah, and so it took quite a few rounds, but uh, after a lot of mining away in this Minecraft day, we ended up taking out that uh, Grave Robber. She did kill my Plague Doctor, but... If I really, really, really wanted to make that match a confirmed win, I could have just moved the Plague Doctor to position 3 and gone for those self-heals, because 
one heal against one attacking action is always a win for you if you, you know, as long as you're not counting stress. So let's go on for match number two. All right, and here we go for match number two, and you're gonna get stunned immediately because now we're playing against the Highwayman World Domination. I think I actually gave this team a name, but I have forgotten. And it's basically just a WD, but instead of um, instead of a bounty hunter, you have a Highwayman, or you know, instead of a Jester, you have a Highwayman, and that gives you another damage source, which is pretty good, but uh, is definitely lacking on the kill potential. Though you can give yourself kill potential with that finisher. So, for starters, I'm going to go ahead and uh, bolster because I want to dodge. It's weird. Uh, my Van at Arms could have done everything here. He could have gone for a guard, he could have gone for a command. No, not command. He could have gone for a bellow. A lot of things would have been good here, but I'm going to go for the bolster to give myself dodge onto the Grave Robber because the Vendetta is, could definitely counter it if it hits, but I feel like the dodge here is going to be helpful against this team. Ah, yes! Buff your dodge into making that manacles less than a 50-50 hit chance into getting crit stunned for, I I think, 30... No, 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 40% of my HP, pretty much. Yeah, my favorite, my favorite, the Butcher's Circus. Okay, let's go ahead and drop a play grenade. That might have been a misplay. That might have been a misplay. You wanna know why? If they get lucky enough, I, I don't know why they have Stabilizing Tower, by the way, that's that's a misplay. But if they get lucky enough to hit me with a Sniper Shot right now on the Grave Robber, they could just go for a kill with the Vendetta. That could have genuinely happened right there. If they go Vendetta right now, they have a bad hit chance. It's 125 against 64 dodge. So no, they're gonna go for Duelist Advance <laughs> and miss it on the Man at Arms. Well, that's a new one. In that case, I'm just gonna pass here. It doesn't matter who I pass with first literally does not matter, so let's just, uh, you know, pass half my turns, because we're playing against WD. What can you do about it? It's the same thing every single time, and hit for 18. That, uh, that hurts. Definitely hurts, but it could have hurt more. So, I'm not gonna complain too much. Well, here comes the Holy Lance. Gonna focus on my men at arms here, I see. I could, uh, oh god, even if I guard now, it's already too late. Yeah, even if I guard now, it's probably too late, but let's drop a bell here, try to reduce that damage, and we can drop a heal with the Plague Doctor if we really have to. So this is kind of the team that I was worried about. A team like WD that just stuns your characters and uh, has a lot of attacking actions, so there won't be much you can do. Come on. Oh my god, seriously? 110 accuracy, 49 stun res, nope, none of it matters, not at all. Alright, well, I guess it's gonna be Rain of Sorrows from me then. Let's just uh, try applying some some nasty bleeds and blights, see if we can get something going like that. I wanna keep my healing action here. All right, it's just a heal for three, but it's just a silly little heal, but it could make the difference here. Yeah, it definitely could. Yeah, playing against all these stunts is gonna be rough. This time we do have Noxious Blast, by the way, so we can also make that work. It doesn't really get uh, get any kills on it, thankfully, and now I'm just gonna pass here and then just go for the heal. Most likely on whoever wants to be healed. Could have gone for a play grenade there and then just, you know, died <laughs> to, to the Vendetta Deathloop. But, oh, that's an interesting decision, putting all my characters close to 0 HP. That's not what you should typically do, I don't imagine that being the best play. Uh, this repulse could bring me down to 0, though. Yeah, that was that's an idea. That's the idea they're going for. But I doubt it brings me down to zero. You know, it had to be a crit, and uh, without Vendetta, it's it's unlikely that it's a crit chance. I was expecting to get crit there, though. I'm gonna be completely honest. You know, this match would have been really fun if I had been able to drop two panic darts onto that arbor. It should be at zero HP right now and uh, at uh, at affliction level, but. <laughs> Third time's the charm, right? I gotta get one dodge this match. Okay, I actually do get a dodge. Would you look at that? There's a touch of Genesis in this world. I'm gonna immediately capitalize on it, try going for a crit. But sadly, there are no crits in this world. Would have been really good to get a crit right there. But I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this and uh, just try taking it from there. Now he's probably gonna go for the stunning blow, the 20% chance stunning blow. Doesn't get the stun, thankfully, thankfully for us. So that would have been very, very, very unsavory if they got the stun right there. But I'm just gonna drop a heal here and potentially have to drop my final action with the men at arms. If they shoot me right now, the both their characters are dropping to zero HP here, so that's pretty good. But they will likely get the kill on me. It's gonna be a 50-50 chance with their with their high man. I think it's a misplay to run grape shot blast here instead of 
wicked size, I think you'd be better off with the wicked size because uh, it's a damage team where you can focus a character down. So I think that would have been overall better. Could have dropped a command buff there, but I just feel like dropping Bellows for the debuffs and potentially the Affliction is overall better here. So they're probably going to go for the Vendetta Death, but I wonder if it can do zero damage. I don't imagine. No, they're going to go for the Duelist Advance. Oh, there's no kill. There's no kill. That might have actually been a misplayed now to go for the Duelist Advance, because here comes the Punish. Oh, it doesn't bring me down to 14. No! That would have been so good. Okay, that's unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. Who are they going to go for the kill with? You still only have one finishing character. Fail the 50-50. They, if they go for the Grape Shot Blast right now, I can just heal with the Flagellant. Hmm. They might stun my Flash here, but I could get that critical stun resistance. That would be amazing if that did happen. They're going to go for the Grape Shot. And okay, that's one kill. <laughs> my Flagellant dodges! What?! My Flagell dodges the Grape Shot! You gotta be shitting me. I dodged the Grape Shot. Oh, God. Yeah, okay. Okay, buddy. Okay. Alright, I see how it is. Well, I'm gonna go for the heal here. I, I dodged the Grape Shot on the Flagell, so now I can't drop a Redeem. This, you, you can't, you can't fake something like this. Like, this is, this is Butcher Circus in a nutshell. Jesus. Okay, now well, here comes the transformation. It's uh, gonna be a slam, isn't it? Well, in that case, I'm just gonna drop a redeem. Okay, I'm not gonna complain about that. I'm I'm happy that happened. I think that's fine for me. Yeah, I'm not gonna complain too much about that. Now, I'm just gonna drop a punish here if you don't mind. That is gonna give me the redeem now. Still alive though, still alive, survives both death blows, quite unfortunate, <laughs> I dodged the slam. You know, I I can't dodge the manacles, like the first two manacles, but I dodge a 90% slam, it's it's outrageous, isn't it? Yeah, it's the Butcher Circus, you know it, you love it, you complain about it, but you still play it, Shepherd Doggy. I'm still, I'm gonna drop the Toxin Trickery here, because I don't feel like there's any good Panic Darts characters. I mean, all of them are good Panic Darts uh, targets right now, but at the same time, none of them are. Because, uh, well, I don't want to get hit by the Repast, and I could go for the Arbals, but she's already dropping to this store, and while I could try focusing these two characters down, I need to get a kill on one of these to end the match. So I'm just going to give myself a little bit of dodge here. They're going to go for the Sniper Shot on my Plague Doctor, so I'm just going to go ahead, click, and drop a Redeem on there. Uh, yeah, yeah, they have a kill chance. Let's just drop a Redeem there to keep her alive, and, uh... Ooh, crit 48 self heal. I like it. Okay, that's pretty good. She's probably gonna go for the self heal now. I imagine that, uh, at least. And then they're gonna have to go for more healing action. Come on, I have 64 dodge now. There's no way. There is no way. Ain't no way you actually hit my Grave Robber this time. Come on. Oh, okay. There's a dodge. There's justice. Well, the play here is definitely to go play grenade. Oh, please don't do zero damage. Play grenade, you're so trash. You are so trash. Oh my god, why did they do this to this ability? Seriously, all I have is minus five damage. And because of this stupid five prot, I can't do damage to the arbalist. Oh, that is, that is just nasty. That could have been the kill right there. It's just so nasty. Yeah, there's just unbelievable amounts of nastiness. Well, in that case... Um, do I want to focus down? Think, think, Shep, think. It's probably going to be Holy Lands. I'm just going to kick my ass here. Let's drop it on the let's drop it on the Crusader. No crits, no crits. I need the crits, please. Uh, though the Highman will need a heal here if he wants to stay alive, so I'm not sure. There might be a preemptive heal on this Highman instead. No, it's just gonna be Holy Lance. It's gonna be the 26 hit chance. Doesn't get it. Thank goodness. Now the Highman is at this door here, so he's got pretty bad accuracy. He does have the Vendetta buff. I mean the finisher buff. He's gonna go for the Vendetta. Shouldn't do three damage. Okay, it doesn't do three damage. It, it gets close, but no cigar. And I think right now the play might be to go for play grenade. Could get a kill. It's also going to get an affliction at the same time. So yeah, let's go play grenade here. And no kill still. 55 and no kill. Mm. Mm. This match. 
abusive on the Arbles. That's minus 5 accuracy. That could make the difference here. That could genuinely make the difference. Man, this match has been a close one. I'm liking it. I am liking it. I'm not liking, uh, you know, not dodging, but now I'm actually dodging quite a decent bit. Ah, yes, the crit heal, my favorite. Well, what I could do right now is actually just go panic darts on the Arbles, try to kill her. Oh, I could just change more Panic Darts. Let's drop a Panic Darts here on the Crusader. I'm spreading a lot of it around, but I think it's going to be worthwhile. Yeah, I, I imagine it being worthwhile. I could have dropped it on a higher man as well, but... Yeah, that would have dropped into Death Star. Maybe that would have been the play, but I have a Reign of Stars coming, so... I feel like that will be generally okay here. Minus 20 dodge, though. I'm, I'm at 44 now. It really isn't all that much. Yeah, it really isn't. Oh, I didn't actually mention the Trinkets on the Grave, but yeah, it's just the usual. You just bring Monkey Spall. Satchel of Dirty Tricks. This is just the stress Grave Robber that everyone knows and loves. Uh, she, she works pretty well with these two. It gives her a lot of dodge. It's what you have to bring. It is what you have to bring. Well, I could go Reign of Sorrows right now. I could go Punish. Both are, both are ideas here. So Reign of Sorrows could get an Affliction. Could also get a Virtue. <laughs> but I'm gonna go Punish here. Put some pain onto this Abomination. Yeah, that's definitely quite some pain. And I'm definitely spreading the damage around, maybe a bit too much, maybe I should be focusing a character down, but I'm, I'm just uh, gonna go ahead and roll with this. Come on, abusive, do some stress. Okay, if this gets a virtue, I'm gonna be so pissed. Yeah, it is a virtue. Focused as well for the accuracy and crit. Oh boy, yeah, okay, okay, okay. That's gonna be rough. That <laughs> is gonna be very rough to deal with. Hopefully Abomination misses now though, that's that's my only hope, is that he misses and he's gonna go for it all, he does actually miss. Okay, that's very fortunate for me. I'm gonna go ahead and... Um... Do I really want to drop a heal? That's the question, do I really want to drop a heal here? I feel like dropping a Noxious Blast might generally be better. Oh, I might die though. I could regret this, I could regret this, because if the stun comes right now, it, it could make things terrible for me, but I, I feel like maybe a better play would have been to just drop Panic Tarts on the, on the Crusader. I don't know, come on, one more dodge, one more dodge is all I need. Oh no, oh, okay. Yeah, this is gonna make things rough. Uh, this is gonna make things very rough for me. Well, no point clicking right now, I'm just gonna go Punish here on the Abomination. He's dropping to 0 HP now, so that's pretty nice. But yeah... Yeah, you're dropping to zero. You're gonna drop to zero in a few rounds, I imagine. You're dropping to zero, so that's pretty good. But can I capitalize on it? I need this higher man to just be abusive, have minus accuracy, and not get the kill here. That's what I need. He can definitely heal for enough. Yeah, he heals for enough here. The higher man won't drop to zero. Oh, that's quite bad. That is quite bad right now. He's probably gonna get the kill now. I haven't suffered a single death sword check, so it's only a 50 50. He suffered three death sword checks, by the way. Yeah. Well, he's gonna go for it. He's gonna go Grape Shot, that could miss. You silly, silly goose. Why do you not go Duelist Advance? With the extra 20 accuracy, why do you go Grape Shot there? I have no idea what Father Nichols was thinking right there. Oh, he's gonna go for the 25 though. Oh, it misses. Oh, it actually misses, okay. Should I go for another heal? Now let's go for the Panic Darts now. Let's go for the Panic Darts on the Arbol. She stays alive, doesn't get hit by the 25. <laughs> I was hoping for a crit there. I haven't gotten a lot of crits with my Grave Robber this match, if any. But uh, have I gotten a single crit this match? Let's be honest, have I? I got a crit redeem heal on myself. I think that was it. Yeah, I think that was pretty much it. Well, Focus gonna give him... No, not the A-bomb! Oh! Okay, now he's definitely gonna hit those stuns. Ugh, I'm alive. Okay. Um, keep the flagellant action. You're not dropping down to zero. Noxious Blast would change that. Do I do five damage here? Hmm. I'm actually gonna heal now. I'm actually gonna heal because a Duelist Advance here would kill me, and I don't want that because I need the Grave Robber to kill the Arbolus because this stupid Plague Doctor can't do it. He doesn't do damage. He's gonna drop to zero here. Is he gonna go for the for the stun? Oh, that's an 80. Does he get it? Uh, it's a 100. Yeah, with the crit it's a 100, of course. And uh, he does get it. Ooh, the crit also gives him more damage. Yeah. 
Extra 10 crit chance. Mmm, focused. Mmm, mmm, mmm. My favorite character to play against. Well, Arbals, what are you gonna do? Abusive does nothing. Goes for the sniper shot. Oh god, please miss. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Zero HP. Zero HP. Abusive. Minus 15 accuracy still hits. Oh, please. Abusive. Oh, she lives with the finisher and she lives. Are you kidding me? Okay, here comes the list advance. Oh, of course, it's gonna be a kill. Of course, man. Okay. No, the corpse! Oh, God. Yeah, it's gonna make things worse. Um, I'm gonna go punish you on the A-bomb. I need him gone. No! He lives. Maybe get a good affliction on him. Oh, the stupid corpse is gone, too. Can't believe they got a crit to lose advance for the kill as well. Oh, this match, man. <laughs> the RNG. I feel like it's against me. Crit, crit, focus. Like, come on. <laughs> Here comes Manacles. Yeah, sorry, Plague Doctor, you're not gonna get to play today. Mm, they have heal and to heal if they want to do that, but the Abomination could still die here. Ah, accuracy and crit for the Arbalist. Ah, ha, ha, yes, yes, do that. Well, there goes a crit heal there. Two! Two crit heals! Not one! Two! Two crit heals! They don't even have the Warrior Standard anymore, they have Brass Knuckles. Oh god. Wow! Okay, that helps. That helps. Thank you, Arbalist. Thank you, Arbalist. That, that might make the difference here. But honestly, I think it's too late. Oh, they don't self-heal, though. Mm, they can get the kill now, though. Yeah, and then I'm gonna have to 1v2 against the Focus Crusader with double stun chance. Oh, I'm gonna lose! I should never lose this. But yeah. Oh, and she dies to the 50-50 as well. God! Damn it! Okay, this is Reign of Sorrow's time. 55, but I don't get it. Oh come on! Look at him. He should be dead. Look at him. Look at her. She should be dead. The no the blade grenade didn't even do damage to her. Why? Why? Why must I lose this match? I should never lose this. Oh, it's too late now. I'm gonna lose. Why? Why did they? What? Why did they even heal the Crusader? There's no point. Why don't you heal yourself? Why are they clicking there? They just... They could just go for the kill now with PBS and Holy Lance. What are they doing? Oh god. Oh, I have no idea. I have no idea. I'm gonna go Reign of Sorrows. Maybe I still get the kill here. Okay. Okay. My mind. Okay, finally. One kill. On that, uh, on that Arbals. The first kill I have gotten. I have caught in the first skill. Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> that almost that almost killed the abomination. That was so funny. Well here comes the Holy Lance. And uh yeah, now the high is probably gonna kill me. Hmm. Ah, he hits. That's a nine. Come on, please fail. 90 death blow res on the drain. Father Nicholas takes the match. With overwhelming RNG advantage, but also good plays, also good plays. I definitely feel like this match would have been a lot easier for Father Nicholas had he brought the Eagle Eye Talisman on that Arbol. She would have had 120 accuracy. Things would have been so much easier. And I also feel like the Abomination should have had the net instead of this instead of the spike chain to give him an extra accuracy, and his stun chance would have still been lovely. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed today's team and. Um, Definitely try it out. It's very strong, as you could see. It's like one of the best Blade Doctor teams. I feel like there's two, three, maybe three good ones. And yeah, this one's definitely quite decent. Of course, if you go against Shieldbreaker, you know, just whoop. If you go against uh, Come Hither, just whoop. And you're having a terrible time. But against some stress teams, you're going to have a very good time. So yeah, hope you all enjoyed today's video. And I'll see you again another time. Cheers.